All right, uh, welcome to the first video in a series of videos uh, I'll be making on the topic of dynamics. Woohoo! Uh, my name's Brian. I have an undergrad degree in mechanical engineering and a master's degree in dynamic systems and controls. And I currently work in the aerospace industry and I use all of this cool stuff that we're gonna learn together in my job. And I'm, I'm, I really enjoy this topic and um, I, I really love working on these problems. And uh, I just want to share it with everybody and show you how I do these problems. Um, and, and maybe you'll learn something along the way, I hope. Uh, my hope is to have this series show that, that anyone can do dynamics. I find a lot of times textbooks and resources for this topic are, are intimidating or like overwhelming and confusing. And, and I don't think they need to be like that. Um, a lot of this stuff is, is very, very doable. Uh, if explained well, <laughs> and which is what I'm going to hope to do. And if I don't, then, then I've, I've, I've failed, but that's, <laughs> let's not think that way. So in this video, I'll tell you briefly what you'll learn in the series, um, what like quote unquote prerequisites, you know, you should know coming in there. There's not that much, you know, need to know coming into this. And, and my next video, I'll be reviewing everything you need to know. Um, so here I just doodled on this page to get everybody excited. Um, this is just some of the stuff we'll be learning. Um, so what will we learn? Well, we're going to learn dynamics, you know, duh. And, uh, what is dynamics? I, I like to think of dynamics as, you know, stuff that moves and the forces that affect that motion. You know, we're trying to describe the motion of things and, uh, dynamics. And I'll, I'll be using, this is the format I'm going to go with right now is this, uh, good notes app and with a, with a laser pointer. To, to point at the notes. I like to have everything written out beforehand, so we have some structure and I don't <laughs> go off the rails. <laughs> it's an attempt to keep me on the rails. Um, so dynamics. Dynamics is split into two uh, big categories. You have Newtonian mechanics and relativistic dynamics. Uh, relativistic is stuff that goes close to the speed of light. Uh, things get weird here. I don't know anything about relativity. We're not going to touch that. We are sticking to Newtonian, not even close to the speed of light. Um, and the two uh, big topics that we need to cover in order to do Newtonian uh, dynamics is kinematics and kinetics. Kinematics deals with describing the motion of something without looking at the forces. Whereas kinetics, which we'll get to a little later, is describing the motion of something and including the forces. We'll spend a bit of time to master this kinematics, and then a little later on, we'll start adding in these forces, because you have to have kinematics down in order to do the kinetics. And then we put all these together, and we will determine equations of motion. This is everything. This is really everything we're trying to do, is determine these, uh, what are called differential equations of motion. It sounds scary. It's not. We'll work up to it. We'll build up to it. We'll understand it. And... Uh, everything will be okay. <laughs> um, but these are, these are awesome. If you could, if you can get the equation of motion, you know, everything about how this, this system is going to behave. Um, will in, in this course, and this is the way I taught it. I mean, I was taught it. Um, when I took analytical dynamics, we are very rarely going to work with actual numbers in, in this course, everything's going to be variables. Um, if you can write it generally, then plugging in numbers is, is nothing. Anyone can plug in numbers. Uh, unless we're using Python. And I want to make some videos on, on, you know, once we develop an equation of motion, um, you know, how can we put that into Python, solve it in Python? How can we visualize the results? I think that'll be really useful and awesome. Um, all of this, you know, these are some topics we'll cover. This is not by no means a, a comprehensive list. I just like jotted down uh, some things that immediately came to mind. We'll do, we'll do particle kinematics and kinetics. Then we'll move on and, and we'll look at some system of particles. We'll look at Cartesian, cylindric, spherical, and intrinsic coordinates. Um, we'll look at some Lagrange mechanics eventually. That'll be, you know, a little later. Uh, we'll look at rigid bodies. We're going to look at, you know, all these properties of energy and linear and angular momentum, these conservation quantities, and, and a lot more. <laughs> this was just 
a couple things I, I wrote down that I thought, you know, I'd want to make videos on. Uh, so far, I think I've made, you know, five notes, <laughs> note pages uh, worth of videos, and uh, I'm at the very beginning here. So what should you be familiar with coming into these videos? Um, these are like, are like the prerequisites, basic linear algebra, basic. When I say basic, dot product, cross product, matrix multiplication, okay? Tensor product is the odd one out. That one's a little hairy. We won't touch that until much later when we start talking about rigid bodies. But if you can do a dot product, if you can take a cross product, and if you can multiply matrices, like, you're golden. Like, great. <laughs> um, and if you can tell me, like, what a vector is, we're good. If not, that's okay. You know, I'll, I'll do a review in the second video, and I'll, I'll talk about it. Um, you might have to do, you know, a little homework on your own just to play a, a little catch-up. This Georgia Tech textbook is a really good resource, I found. It's uh, interactive, which is always fun. <laughs> Uh, but a good linear algebra resource uh, for those learning. But again, dot product, cross product, matrix multiplication, and you know what a vector is. You can do so much in dynamics with just that. Basic calculus. Ba basic calculus, okay? Derivative. If you can take a derivative and not even like a crazy derivative like you do in like Calc 2, I'm talking power rule, chain rule, product rule, quotient rule, okay? If you can do that, you're good. I Maybe we'll take an integral every now and again. Again, you know, power rule or U sub or integration by parts. If you haven't touched calculus in a while, you know, it's fine. If you are familiar with calculus, great, you know, you'll, you'll know probably more than I do. <laughs> Uh, but you will be good with that. Um, and I had this little note down here, you know, don't let the calculus scare you. You know, you'd be surprised how much you can do with just simple derivatives. So that's it for this first video. I've reached the bottom of the page, it seems. Um, so join me in the next video. We're going to do a review of, uh, all these prerequisites that we need to cover. And, uh, I'm really excited for this series. I've been really wanting to do this for a long time. So yeah, thanks for tuning in and, uh, go watch this second video.